wants to go for the Doom. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of rough. If you want to look at this lineup. Yeah. What about the what about the centaur? Like, what's the point of picking this hero? Because we like a long time ago when the Aghanims was introduced. Well, hold on. We are gonna have a level one fight here. I wasn't sure if they were actually gonna go for this one, but trying to deny the Alchemist from being able to get that battery room, but it's not gonna happen. The Lions actually managed to pick up both there. That's Sunray. Taking a lot of Sunray damage, and this could be our first blood. Is yes, the Lions gonna be able to pick up that kill. They turn now and start beating on the Bloda and EGM, but it looks like Miracle's still gonna end up falling here. A bad start for the Alchemist for sure. <laughs> Not dead. being able to get the Bannock Road, but still, OG will claim the two for one victory in the end. First blood, Ake's jungle and soaking up half the experience and may have an impact on mid lane as well. Two strength heroes at the top lane battling it out with each other. Something a little bit. Oh, hold on. Yeah, he's dropping low in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's actually going to go down, not expecting it. Against the one on three, you have to go for the blink. It's natural, but when you're in a situation where you can't get a lot of farm like you can, uh, I think it's worth it for him to go for this, but he might be in a lot of trouble here. He is yeah, taking he's got a lot of mango, so if he wants to pop one, go for the stun. He's actually oh, he's going He's almost going to kill Admiral Bulldog, but no, the Scorched Earth gets him first. It's still Admiral Bulldog going down, but only battle it out with Scorched Earth active. Yeah, a wasted opportunity for them at top. At the same time, he can't be too aggressive because Scorched Earth is about to fail and fly is coming in with the invis and actually going to start going on him. The question is whether or not Moon's going to be there in time to be able to hit the stun. Body blocking up beautifully by crit and they will be able to finish him off. No stun required. At the top, Loda makes his move. Fly. Managed to get a little bit of distance away from Jerry, but that's not going to happen. EGM catches him with the Earth Spike. I don't necessarily think this is a fight they can take unless they can do first. Yeah. 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 Has to dive himself back and then it's here to tower. Loda with that double damage now gonna try and chase down No Tail. Looks like one of these heroes could be sacrificed. He's still got the TP, but he's gonna try for it now. The stun or the damage. Either one. Both gonna be fast enough that no escape for No Tail. That was a really awkward engagement for OG. You could see that they hesitated with half their heroes. That's about it. They're having F4 be the frontliner for now. Letting OG initiate on him if they want to. Obviously, OG, they realize this is kind of a bait. It's not really the hero they want to go on. The jig They're is up. Try and get some information from Crit. He does actually run a little bit too close to the smoke. It's pop and out. Take Go down, but who are they really going to be able to focus? It's certainly not going to be the centaur. There goes the beating thing as well, and Alliance seem to be in a tough position. They're focusing on Miracle, but no one's just down down to the HP, and the news is going on soon. They turn for him even more, but Sunrise is now healing up Miracle, and it burns through Alliance at the same time, and sure enough, the Phoenix proves to be the problem card, and Alliance drastically lose that fight. And OG going to gain a major positioning win as they're going to actually keep going for the push here. Maybe force out some buybacks. And uh, they also have Roshan available as well. They only have the buyback available on S4, but without his dragon form, I'm not sure how they take this fight. The Miracle takes this way too quickly. Four seconds, he's going to have that beautiful rage up. The AC already dealing that negative armor to that tower. Even if Alliance do buy back at this point, they sell BKB as well as their big on cooldown. Miracle going to be stunned up. So they'll have that finger of death to go on as well as Black Hole, but OG, they're not going to be grouping up, I don't think, enough for, uh, for Alliance to somehow be able to handle that fight. Five more seconds until the DK is back up, deep more. I just don't think it matters. OG is going to be able to play the melee racks and probably back out from there. Loda trying to poke it through. Yeah, he's out of mana, but he's also a tanky, so he's going to get a little stick. Down the rest of OG. They're like, that's fine, that's fine. Moon Meander dying, that's standard for us. He still got the overall win. Did you notice what Moon did there, too? He understands that his team is running away and somebody might get caught, so he intentionally turns his position towards them yep. just to make sure it's a one off kill. Because normally what ends up happening is you lose your racks, you get two or three kills. That kind of makes things somewhat even if you're behind, but unable to do anything off of that, and Alliance need to do something drastic. It's going to be the Roshan attempt. The downside to them is that OG might actually see this coming. They've got a lot of different ways to scout this out. The Hawk, the Night of Doctor Aghanim, as it is just 10 p.m. in Dota Land. Great. He sees the ward on the left-hand side. Alliance are going to be even more blind to this incoming incursion of OG. Hawkins going to bounce outside of the pit, trying to solo up OG as much as possible. As Alliance are full committing to this road shot. It's about to go down, but now No-Tail's made it. He's going to go by that force, and he is picked up by Mark. But they were already lost to the Echo Bulldog. And now that Mark is going to go as well, even with his DKD. He ends 
up getting bought. Now loaded to have to somehow try and make his way out with the agents intact, but that's not gonna happen. The silence goes down. And well, he buys out his BKB in preparation of dying here because Crit with the gen is always gonna be able to see where Lotus up to. Time lapse not gonna do anything there. A stop from Boo will claim the mega kill streak. Loda, and now time for OG to potentially end this whole entire thing. And even without their best, uh, they're at the Roche pit and fly at the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And I, there's just no real way for Alliance to take a fight. There's too much to go on the Enigma. They couldn't really push with them. In the last, in the fight before this one, you notice the Mirror Focus B line warded. Mm -hmm. He made sure he did so under the protection of the Phoenix. So no matter what happens, even if he got black holes, he was going to get canceled for a second later. Now the buyback immediately got He's going to be targeted when he feels the blade put on him. He's over. Oh, the guy's going to heal. Maybe he's a stun. He comes down with the gold here. Now the black hole goes down. The hunter's right in the middle of it. Right? He's going to lose two more than he's going And who managed to stay alive through all of that? Elias can't claim any kills. He's just dying left and right like Clyde. Miracle. The tank is something new. Just keep going, man. Under tier four. Drone doesn't really matter. He only takes a pinch of damage from every single one of these heroes trying to attack it. And sure enough, the GG is called from Alliance. Very convincing victory from OG once again over Alliances. They, last time they met, they took this series 2-0. Now the beginning of this series, very clean 17-8 victory game one. This was, I don't think people are gonna fully appreciate how well OG just moved around and gave mm. each other information. The way that they approach fights, there was always a reasoning behind it. They said, okay, we're gonna push out bottom. If nobody goes there, we're gonna give up that tier one at top. Mm. They always made the proper trades right there. That was just a really thorough team victory. None of the Alliance smokes paid off and that's- All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it.